Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Ask the Agent. I'm Riley Ringold with Team Ringold over at Keller Williams. I've decided to do this video every week or so, maybe a couple times a week, to answer questions that you guys might have. Real estate can be a pretty tricky business, and if you're not in it every day, you may have questions of the in and out, how a transaction goes together, how to get pre-approved, all of those sorts of questions. So I wanted a spot where you guys could feel comfortable asking questions. So the first question I want to answer for you guys, what's the difference between a seller's agent and a buyer's agent? I get this question all the time. The seller's agent is working for the seller. Their sign is in the yard. They are working for the seller to get the highest possible price for their house. So as a buyer, you've got to be very careful when you're talking to a seller's agent. This is important because anything that you as a buyer tell the seller's agent, the seller's agent has a responsibility to go ahead and pass that on to the seller. A buyer's agent is the kind of agent that you need whenever you're shopping for a house. This is important because a buyer's agent will protect you in the transaction. They've got a lot of knowledge on the market and how much homes are worth, so that'll protect you from not overpaying for a home. They'll also point out things on the house that may need to be inspected, such as a roof inspection or a sewer inspection or an HVAC inspection. The worst thing that could happen is that you buy a house after you move in, you've got an issue. So the really cool thing about a buyer's agent is they actually work for the buyer for free. You see, whenever the seller and the listing agent or the seller's agent sign their agreement, they agree on a certain commission. This commission is then split between the seller's agent and the buyer's agent. Yes, you heard that right. It doesn't make any sense to buy a home without an agent. You wanna be represented and protected throughout the transaction. You want somebody who knows the contracts in and out. You wanna make sure somebody's negotiating on your behalf. So that's it for the first episode of Ask the Agent. Please comment down below. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions that you would like to ask me. Or go ahead and text this number right here. I'll go ahead and answer your questions through text or message or call. And that's it for Ask the Agent. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.